A little while back ago, I did a video predicting my 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. That video is over an hour long. I will leave you the link to that video in the description of this video. But I also did a video reviewing my 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series schedule prediction video. And I'm the time I'm recording this video, um, I actually just did that a couple days ago. But you guys can go check that video out. I will leave the link down in the description below. But now it is time for me to predict my 2025 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series schedule. And I have some pretty, pretty big changes coming your way for the 2025 NASCAR Truck Series schedule realignment video. Hey guys, it's your boy NASCAR Boy 2019 here. I'm back with a video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my prediction of the 2025 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series schedule. I think there's going to be some pretty significant changes in the schedule. It's going to be some very, very shocking and very, very big, bold, innovative changes. It's going to be a very, very great schedule. But I wanted to keep some things realistic, but I also wanted to get a little bit creative with the schedule, if you guys could tell from the overlook of the schedule, which I don't have a photo of it on screen. But um, I'll give you guys an overview on the schedule toward the end of this video. But um, similar to Eric e. Stepp's 2024 NASCAR schedule, prediction video that he did back in August of last year. Um, he kept it realistic, but he also wanted to get pretty, pretty creative. So I'm actually going to get really creative here and give some un unexpected tracks, some dates back, I guess you could say. So that's just a disclaimer for this scheduled prediction. But without further ado, let's get it underway so you guys can figure out what my 2025 NASCAR Truck Series schedule prediction video is. So we're going to start the season how everybody starts the season. And the Daytona International Speedway, Friday night on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2025 at 8pm Eastern Time on FS1 for the normal 100 lap, 250 mile race we've already seen. We've always seen. I like this. I know the 2024 race was a wreck fest and many fans did not enjoy that race. I understand that and many fans might want to reconsider maybe moving this race to somewhere else. But for tradition wise, I don't think this race is ever going to move. I think it stays in every NASCAR series. I'm glad that we have it. I think it's going to stay in the NASCAR Truck Series. And although many fans didn't like the 2024 race, I think 2025 can easily be better if they make some changes to it. So I'm going to have this race at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 on February 14th. Next week, we're not going to have an off week and we're going to head straight to the West Coast. And we're going to race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway Friday night on February 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for a normal 144-lap race we've always seen at Vegas. I like this track a lot. I think it deserves to stay in the NASCAR Truck Series. How about the 2024 race? It's actually really good, although I had not watched it. Um, this track needs to stay in the calendar. I didn't mind them cutting it down to one date for 2022. I think it should stay on one date to scheduling reasons. I would have bought if I got a second date back. But Las Vegas is a great track, in my opinion. I love NASCAR racing here, and I'm glad that NASCAR Truck Series races here. Although, there are a couple other tracks in Las Vegas and Mercy but the entire facility, which has three tracks that I wouldn't mind. The Truck Series trying out, so maybe someday we can see a switcheroo, if you will, with that. But for right now, to keep it realistic, I think 2025 we're going to race the one that have my oval at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Then, for realistic reasons, unfortunately, we have to take two off weeks. We're going to um, go to Phoenix for the Cup Series, and we're going to go to Sonoma for the Cup Series. And I don't think Phoenix should move to the springtime for the Truck Series, and I want to put Sonoma back on the calendar, but I quite literally just could not put it on the schedule. So we're going to return on March 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday night, at the Atlanta Motor Speedway on the one and a half mile um, super speedway oval for the 135 lap race we've seen this past year. I think it had a pretty good 2024 truck race a lot better than the 2023 race and 2022 race, although it kind of got a little wrecky. I mean, it had a ton of wrecks. Still, I mean, that's normal for any super speedway NASCAR race, but I want to experience NASCAR and the truck series to have a Friday night race here. I feel like if the Cup Series or Xfinity can't do it, I feel like the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series sh should just pull that off while it had the chance. I feel like it's possible the weather is probably going to be significantly better in it in March in Atlanta than rather February for a night race here in Atlanta. So I'm gonna have the night race here in Atlanta for the NASCAR Truck Series. I believe for it's the first time ever maybe. 
I want to see it happen, so I'm going to have it at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 on March 14th. We'll see the NASCAR Truck Series kick to Atlanta under the lights. Now we're going to head to our first day race of the year in 2025 at our first road course race of the year at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas for on, Mar on Saturday, March 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time for a normal 42 lap race on FS1. No changes there. Coda, still a pretty good road course. I think it should stay on the Truck Series calendar. It's a bit lengthy. Maybe the Truck Series should maybe replace it someday with a shorter oval or maybe try to shorter course like Coda. That would actually not be a bad idea. But I think Coda needs to stay on the Truck Series calendar. It's provided good enough racing quality and a good enough infrastructure in the NASCAR Truck Series to stay on the calendar. So I'm going to keep Coda on the calendar. Then we're going to go to race 5 of the season. And instead of taking an off week, I think Richmond should be moved to the springtime. I don't mind it being in the summer. I actually think it's actually kind of good because it's a regular season finale. But I wouldn't mind Richmond maybe being tried out in the springtime for the NASCAR Truck Series someday. And I think 2025 is a great test year for it. So on Friday night on March 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for a normal 250 lap race at Richmond. On FS1, we'll have the NASCAR Truck Series kick to the Richmond Raceway earlier in the year on March 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. On FS1 for Richmond Raceway action. Race number six of the season. And this is going to be a very, very big change. None of you will probably see coming. I think the NASCAR Truck Series should return to the Pikes Peak International Raceway in Colorado. On Friday night, April 4th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for a 200 lap. Like, I don't remember what I put on it for the miles. But um, for a 200 lap race at Pikes Peak International Raceway, the NASCAR Truck Series will make its beloved return to this track. I love this track. I absolutely love this track. And I want NASCAR to come back to this track so bad. I really hope Xfinity and maybe even the Cup Series considers having races here in the future if all possible. This track might need some renovations, but I feel like the Truck Series can host a race here. So I would love to see them try it out. I tried um, to... Replace it with a um, a better track than Martinsville. Oh, spoiler alert. I almost for, I forgot to say that in the end. But Martinsville, unfortunately, will be cut down to one date for Pikes Peak. But I think this is a good move because Pikes Peak is not a short track, but it definitely raises like one. And this is a great market. NASCAR wants to go to chase that Colorado market. And street race in Denver would be cool. But I don't think a NASCAR truck race would work out there. So I think we should print, send them to a proper track at Pikes Peak International Raceway, right near Pikes Peak, and we're going to have the NASCAR Truck Series on Friday night, April 4th, while the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the NASCAR Cup Series kicks, kicks into Martinsville Speedway, we're going to have the NASCAR Truck Series go to Pikes Peak International Raceway. This is going to be a, hopefully a high lip event, hopefully it'll get a good crowd, I think it'll get a good infrastructure, and I really think NASCAR and the teams will make a great decision going back to the Pikes Peak International Raceway on April 4th, 2025. Hopefully the weather is good enough for that one. And I also, this is a huge, huge change for schedule. And I say this because the past two years, well, not 2024, but 2022 and 2023, we saw one track being added to the schedule that nobody saw coming. 2022, we saw IRP get added back to the Truck Series schedule. That was a great move. It's a short track returning to the Truck Series schedule, but nobody saw that coming. 2023, which even is more unexpected, we got the Milwaukee Mile, an absolutely amazing track out in Wisconsin for NASCAR racing. And I'm not even sure why I ever left the schedule. It really should have never left. But um, it was great, but nobody expected it until the schedule released. So that was very, very nice to see the truck series return to Milwaukee. But I think in 2025, instead of, um, well, we had a one-year break from that streak. Um, instead of removing a track in 2025 like we did this year with Mid-Ohio, we're going to add a track. Unexpected track of Pikes Peak International Raceway. Then we'll take it off. We can then return on April 19th under the lights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday night at the North Wilkesboro Motor Speedway on the Easter Vigil for a 250 lap race on Easter weekend. On Easter weekend, it'll be a night race. 
This is going to be a poise race as a NASCAR truck series and not have an all-star race. And I'm very, very glad North Wilkesboro has a points race for the truck series. I really think the Cup Series needs to have a points race here. And if you guys want to go check out the other event on this weekend, you guys can go check out my 2025 NASCAR schedule prediction video. But I think NASCAR needs to have a points race here in under two series as well. But the truck series for right now is amazing with this track. I love the racing quality. I was not able to watch the 2023 event, but I think 2024 is also going to be pretty good. And hopefully... We'll get just amazing racing all around once again here. I love this track. I'm so glad NASCAR returned to this track because it was down in the dumps. It was slowly returning to the earth. But 2019, Yale Jr. and some other people repaired the track for iRacing. And it was kind of just not many fans talked about it for two more years. And then 2023, it, it was revived. I'm so glad it's back. I think it should be on the schedule for long term. It doesn't matter if the racing's bad. We need to have a track on the schedule. Because if it ever gets abandoned again, it's probably not going to survive. So North Wilkesboro, I'm glad it's on the schedule. I think it should be on the schedule. It's going to have a NASCAR Truck Series Classic Points Race on April 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Under the lights on FS1 for a 250 lap showdown. They may have to take two more off weeks due to realistical reasons. But then we're going to return on May the 9th. And this is actually going to be a huge change. Or actually, excuse me, um, I made a mistake there. We are not taking off week there. And race 9 is going to be on May 3rd. Saturday, May 3rd. At 12 p.m. Eastern Time. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series make its return to the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course in Lexington, Ohio. For the return of the NASCAR Truck Series race at Mid-Ohio. I am so glad it's the returns. I think NASCAR and Mid-Ohio are going to work it out for 2025. I feel like it was left off the schedule this year because there's been a ton of renovations to that track. Well, not renovations, but there's been a repave there. There's been a couple other things happening on the track similar to Road America. So I really just think this track could not be fit into the schedule for 2024. I think it's only for one year. I think this track needs to stay in NASCAR. I'd love for Xfinity to return here. You guys need to watch my Xfinity schedule prediction video if you all would like to find out if that track returns or not. But I think this track needs to stay on the NASCAR Truck Series calendar. I love it so much. I think it should stay on the calendar. I'm so glad if it returns in 2025 because this track is a great road course. Maybe produces better racing in other series. Maybe some motorcycle racing feels like this better here. But Bristol... In Ohio, tracks like that, a short track and a road course, the NASCAR Truck Series just produces amazing racing at. So I want Redmond, Ohio to return on Saturday, May 3rd at 12 p.m. Eastern Time at FS1. We'll have a 68 lap showdown at the Mid Ohio Sports Car Course. Then we're going to actually go to Bristol for its first of two concrete races in 2025. Just like Xfinity, we are going to return its second concrete race in 2025. On Saturday night, May 9th, under the lights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for a 250-lap race. No changes here. This race, this past race, the 2024 Spring Race for the Truck Series, just happened a couple weeks ago, was amazing. It was just an amazing weekend. I'm so glad Bristol has two conquer races for the Truck Series. I think it needs to stay on the calendar. So for the 10th race of the year, we'll head out to Bristol. Then on May 23rd, after an off week, we go to the best race of the year, one of the best races of the year, the Charlotte Motor Speedway's 134-lap, 200-mile NASCAR Truck Series race on Memorial Day weekend, Friday night under lights on May 23rd at 2025 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. The NASCAR Truck Series returns to Charlotte Motor Speedway again. No changes here. This track needs to stay on the schedule for the Truck Series. I know some fans want the Roval to be tried out, and I would like to see that potentially on the schedule. But I don't think it's realistic for the next couple of years. So we're going to have one shot of the day, and it's going to be the Oval Race on May 23rd. No changes there. Then we'll take another off weekend for race number 12 of the season. We'll head out to Gateway on a Saturday night, June 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for a 160-lap race. No changes here, but Gateway, I just want this race to move to a night race. I know after 2021, with the power ring issues with the lighting system at Gateway for the NASCAR Truck Series night race in 2021, I know that's why they switched it to a day race for 2022, 
But I feel like in the next track record mission, I believe this year or next year, if Gable just gets a brand new lighting system, Gable will probably be one of the most appealing night races on the schedule. And it'll fit well because if NASCAR cannot move it to a better time of year, which is still very, very hot in early June at Gateway in Mass in Illinois. So, um, I feel like if they can't move it to a better time of year, install a better lighting system, it will work so much better. Have this race under the lights, it'll feel so much better for the fans and drivers so they're not sweating very, very hard inside the car. At 12.30 afternoon, which is central time. That's the time the truck series race starts there. This will start at 7 p.m. Eastern time that day or that night in Gateway. But I think this race needs to stay on the truck series calendar. Gateway was brought back to life, I feel like. I believe it was actually true in like 2017 to 2018 or like five, seven, eight years ago, I believe. It was revived to the NASCAR truck series. And I'm so glad it was because... I think Gateway needs to stay in the truck series calendar. So race 12, we're going to have to Gateway on a Saturday night. Then we'll take another off week for Father's Day. And then we return. Um, actually, I think there's an actual extra off week. There are two off weeks. But then for race number 13 of the season, we will head out to the Nashville Super Speedway for this normal 150 lap race on June 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. I would love to see the Nashville Fairgrounds here. But I don't think that track has the logistical, the, the logistical um, infrastructure for an Oscar Truck Series race. Although it probably wouldn't be too much of an issue because the Truck Series does not get very good crowds. But I feel like it probably would still get an oversized crowd, and the Nashville Fairgrounds just does not have that good amount of crowd. And until this project, so-called project, I feel like, and I say that because like it's just moving so slow. I want this Nashville Fairgrounds project to hurry up a little bit so we can see NASCAR racing returned here. It's a very, very historic short track. I want it back. Hopefully it returns sometime in the future, but I figured 2025 the NASCAR Truck Series is going to continue into racing at the Nashville Super Speedway and the Nashville Super Speedway only on June 27th. Then race number 14 of the year is an absolutely amazingly patriotic change. Chicago and Speedway for a 150 lap night race on July 4th. 7 4 2025 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. The Chicago Lane Speedway makes its return to the NASCAR Truck Series schedule for the first time since 2019. This track needs to stay on the Truck Series calendar. It was so good, in my opinion. I absolutely loved this track. I love its racing quality. It produces just such a great race, in my opinion. And I really, really think it should stay on the calendar. I'm very sad it left the calendar. But I'm glad it's on the calendar. I think it needs to stay on the calendar after 2025. So I'm glad it's going to be on 4th of July. Maybe we can see a sellout crowd for the truck race. Because it's going to be exactly on 4th of July at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully the weather holds up for that race. Because hopefully we can see a race go green there on 4th of July. That would be just amazingly patriotic. Bring patriotic paint schemes out there. That would be just amazing. I would love to see this happen. I think it's a possibility to happen for 2025. I think Chicago is going to make it to return in some capacity to racing in NASCAR. Even if it's just an ARCA, it's going to return. It has to return. I feel like it could be demolition for this track in the next couple years if they don't make up their mind on the scene. But I think they will. And I think Chicago and Speedway will make its beloved return to the NASCAR Truck Series schedule on July 4th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That will take another off week and then race number 15 of the year on the track that got lost to the NASCAR Truck Series schedule, which is actually another SMI owned track, well, ISC on Chicagoland. But this is one of the two mile and a half tracks that are in the conversation for a NASCAR race and to return there. I think the Kentucky Speedway should deserve another NASCAR truck race on July 18th, 2025, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The NASCAR Truck Series makes its return to the Kentucky Speedway for its 150 lap night race. I think this track produces honestly not that bad racing for the Truck Series. I think race is pretty good here. Way better than the Cup Series here. I think Xfinity is probably the best out of the free series that ever raced in Kentucky. But I think the Truck Series produces at least good racing here. I think it deserves a spot on the schedule. If it doesn't get added, am I too upset? No, but I think it should stay on the schedule. By any means, I think it's a good track. I don't understand why NASCAR racing entirely left here. I think ARCA should have stayed here. Or maybe they never actually went here. But I think racing should have stayed at this track in some capacity, in my opinion. Same with Chicagoland, but 
I understand why they left it. It was not a good race at all in the Cup Series, and they honestly had dwindling crowds for every NASCAR or Xfinity truck race. But I feel like in 2025, since fans are now officially back open, allowed in Kentucky for the first time since 2019, I think NASCAR racing could be very, very great here. I think it's going to return, and they're going to make another whopping change in the schedule. On July 18th, under the lights at Kentucky Speedway, Kentucky Speedway and Sparta, Kentucky will make its beloved return to the NASCAR Truck Series schedule. But as the penultimate race of the regular season, race number 16 of the season, the regular season finale, oh boy, buckle in for this one, Indianapolis Raceway Park, IRP, 200 laps of short track racing on July 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. We're going to crown our regular season champion. Out of the RP, this track, hands down, one of the best short tracks in NASCAR currently. The racing, top dog in the NASCAR Truck Series. Amazing. Bristol and Richmond, too. Martinsville as well. Short tracks always produce great racing in the Truck Series. I love this track. I'm so glad it's returned. I think it's going to stay on the calendar, and I think it's going to add more prestige because it opened the playoffs in 2023. But I think in 2025, it's going to close out the regular season. So we're going to close it out with a bang here with an absolutely amazing IRP race. I love this track. It just stay on the schedule. I'm glad Xfinity, uh, well, Xfinity hasn't returned, but I think Xfinity could be considering this after 2025, maybe. I think they're going to stay on the Indianapolis Oval. But I think IRP could get a short track race in the Xfinity Series someday, but I think the Truck Series is just going to stick here for 2025. For the NASCAR Crossman Truck Series regular season finale, on July 25th. So buckle in for that race. That's going to be very, very exciting what happens. We'll take three off weeks. Due to um, realistic, realistic reasons. And then. The NASCAR Truck Series playoffs. Begins August 21st. I believe that is a Thursday night. On August 23rd. August 21st. Buckle in for the playoff opener. Because the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Will make its beloved return to the Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio, the proper dirt track, the 0.5 mile dirt track owned by NASCAR free time champion Tony Stewart. At 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series makes its beloved return to the Eldora Speedway for the first time since 2019. This is hands down the track NASCAR needs to go to for an actual dirt race. I don't think they're ever going to go back to another. Bristol Dirt, maybe Bridgman Dirt Race. I don't think that's ever going to happen again. So I think Eldora needs to be on the schedule, at least in some capacity, for the NASCAR Truck Series. This track is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this track for the Truck Series. I'm so unfortunate that with my luck when it comes to the schedule because I felt like it was going to return in 2021. Unfortunately, it did not. I'm not sure why NASCAR left this track after 2020. I understand why they didn't race in 2020 because of COVID. But in 2021, they really shouldn't have ever left this track. It was such a great track. It was such a great dirt track. It provided great atmosphere, great, 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 great hype. It was at one point the only dirt race on any NASCAR schedule from 2013 to 2019. It was a beloved return. It was a great return. It was a great hyped up return to dirt racing in 2013. Now it's just an amazing weekend for the Eldora Dirt Derby. I think this race needs to return to the NASCAR Truck Series. I think it's about time it returns. I feel like it'd be a great playoff opener. It's not a reasonable time of year, so the weather isn't cold. So get ready for the playoffs to open, because it's going to open at the Eldora Speedway on August 23rd, August 21st, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for a 200-lap Dirt Derby. Race number 18 is going to be at the Milwaukee Mile for a 175-lap normal race on August 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern, at 8 p.m. Eastern time under the lights. No changes to Milwaukee here. It's going to open the playoffs in 2024. I thought it would open the playoffs on my schedule originally, but I had to move it to the second race at around 12, to around 10 due to scheduling reasons. So just like 2023, the Milwaukee Mile is going to be cut down to the second race of the playoffs. But I still think it's a pretty good area for Milwaukee. I don't think it needs to be moved around or anything. Milwaukee, I wouldn't mind if it was moved earlier in the schedule. But Milwaukee just produces great truck racing in my opinion. I love the the fact that the fact that the truck series has returned here. It is great. I think this race should be under the lights though. I'd like to see that happen. So I'm gonna have this race a night race. I feel like NASCAR Truck Series night racing needs to stay in capacity. So I'm gonna have Milwaukee Mile turn into a night race on August thirtieth for the second race of the playoffs. 
We'll take it off week and then we'll return for the round of 10 cutoff race at the Bristol Motor Speedway for a 250 lap second fall race on September 11th. 9-11. 9-11. NASCAR racing for the NASCAR Truck Series on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. Get ready to get ready to roll in Bristol. Thunder Valley. It's Bristol, baby. And especially on 9-11, it's going to feel so great. I feel like there should be patriotic paint schemes. I feel like there needs to be patriotic paint schemes that day. It's going to be a very, very historic day. I hope they provide, hope they provide just amazing ceremonies for this very, very special day in American history. Very, very sad day. But it's also a special day to remember all those who died for our services on 9-11. So this is going to be a great, great race. Hopefully this happens. I think they'll actually schedule it. It's going to be great. Hopefully it'll produce an amazing banger of an NASCAR Truck Series race to kick off the round of eight, though, um, next week. So we're going to move to another track that's actually hosted a 9-11 race before, but Bristol will be the round of 10 cutoff on 9-11 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for a 250-lap showdown at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Now, going back to that track that I was talking about just a second ago, to kick off the round of eight, the Kansas Speedway has hosted 9-11 NASCAR racing before in 2022, with the Cup Series fall race being held on 9-11. Um, but at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the NASCAR Truck Series gets a single race at Kansas Speedway. I dropped Kansas' first date from the schedule to go to Mid-Ohio in the spring, so Kansas will still, be, will still keep a race on the schedule, but it will not be two races so we're gonna have one race here for 134 lap race on september 19th at 8 p.m eastern time for the nascar truck series round of eight opener but then we're gonna go head out to the talladega super speedway on september 27th at 12 p.m eastern time finally in our day race on the schedule because talladega does not have lights unfortunately for a 94 lap talladega super speedway nascar truck series race um the nascar truck series is not racing a play track at some point since the spring, I think it needs to have a play track in the schedule for the playoffs. I'm glad it does. So, Talladega, glad it's on the Truck Series schedule. It's a big track. I mean, maybe not the best track for NASCAR Truck Series racing, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. I like it. I think it deserves a spot on the schedule because of its uniqueness and how good NASCAR races here. So, I think the Talladega Super Speedway is going to produce another amazing NASCAR Truck Race here. I guess I love this race being in the last round of the playoffs for the Truck Series. It just fits well because Talladega is just so chaotic with racetrack. It produces so much wild and intense racing for a playoff spot, especially in the Championship 4 hunt here, a playoff race at Talladega. So I think this race needs to stay in its capacity it already is in. So on September 27th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, NASCAR Truck Series Racing returns here at Talladega. Then we'll take an off week. And then we'll return on October the 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday night to end off the round of eight of the NASCAR Truck Series playoffs. We will end it off at the Martinsville Speedway. The track that has effectively lost in NASCAR Truck Race in 2025 will still have its amazing NASCAR Truck Series for its fall race for its 200 lap night race. I love Martinsville to death. I love this track so much. Is an amazing NASCAR track in my opinion. I love the Truck Series racing here. It produces amazing racing. I'm glad this track has two dates, but I feel like it can be dropped its first or second date to fit in room for Pikes Peak or something like that, like I did. So I'm not too upset I lost the date, but I feel like having one race in Martinsville for the Truck Series is going to create more hype. It's going to create more prestige when you got Martinsville for the truck drivers. And especially since they're fighting for our playoff spot in the Championship 4. So it's going to be very, very exciting. So that's where we're going to end off our round of eight on October the 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1 for our 200 lap Martinsville Showdown at the Paperclip. We'll take two off weeks and then for race number 23 of the season, the final race of the 2025 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season on October 31st, Halloween night, is going to be at the Homestead Miami Speedway for 134 lap night race at Homestead for a 200 mile showdown to determine the 2025 NASCAR Truck Series champion at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. Just like the Xfinity and Cup Series, I predicted all three top three NASCAR series is going to host a championship race and crown a champion at Homestead Miami Speedway. 
the facility needs updates for sure. And I feel like it can definitely get those updates though. And I think for 2025, NASCAR Truck Race is going to return here under the lights for the finale. Just like they picked up right where they left off in 2019. It's going to be very, very exciting. And it's also interesting because the NASCAR Truck Series season has effectively ended in October, a month earlier, although it's only by one day. And if we get an unfortunate wreck festival race like we did this past year for the Truck Series and the championship on Los Angeles Phoenix, it might end in November. So, classic joke there, but I don't think that's going to happen, so, very, very glad to see this, I think it's a pretty good schedule, we had a ton of changes, some realistic changes, like, I don't know if Pikes Peak is going to return, I don't think Eldora is actually going to return, but I think it's very well possible, Kentucky, another one, I don't know if that would return, um, Chicago, and I think I have a high chance of returning, though, but we have a couple changes to talk about, two tracks I have effectively removed from the schedule, is the Texas Motor Speedway and the Phoenix Raceway. I planned on putting Phoenix in here, but I really, honestly couldn't really fit it into the schedule. Although I think the 2024 Truck Series finale at Phoenix is going to be better than the 2023 show here. I still think Phoenix isn't the best track for the Truck Series. It's never produced memorable moments for the Truck Series, but still has the 2023 race, of course. So I honestly don't know if fans will be too, too upset with me if I remove this track from the schedule. But I know one track the fans would definitely not be upset with me if I removed the Texas Motor Speedway has been removed from the NASCAR Truck Series schedule just to make it realistic for a 23 race season. I want the Truck Series to get more races. I think Texas Motor Speedway is going to be turned into an Atlanta style track. But I genuinely think it wouldn't be too upsetting if I removed a truck race here and just had Xfinity and Cup Racing here for at least a couple of years until maybe they can slot it back in in like 2029. Maybe, but... The NASCAR Truck Series doesn't produce horrible. Actually, never mind. I take that back. I, that doesn't, doesn't produce good racing at all. It really is not a good track for the Truck Series. It's never produced any memorable moments either. When it had two dates, it was a pretty forgettable race in both races. So, glad I was cut down to a single date. But, honestly, at the same time, it's just not a good track for the Truck Series, in my opinion. So, I don't think fans would be too upset if I remove them from the schedule. We have made some tweaks to the schedule. We've moved Richmond to the springtime. We have put Kentucky back on. We put Chicago Land back on. Gateways and Night Race. Um, Mid Ohio is back on the schedule. Pikes Peak is on back on the schedule. Um, Atlanta's a Night Race. What else we got here? IRP is the regular season finale. Eldora will kick off the playoffs. Milwaukee Bio will be at night. Uh, Truck Series will race on 9 11. And um, Hobbs is the finale. So, I guess that's kind of my schedule prediction in a nutshell. Um, that was my 2025 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series schedule prediction. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. And let me know your guys' thoughts on my schedule prediction. And I hope you guys enjoyed my prediction of the 2025 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series schedule. Let's hope I can get some, let's hope I can get some of these changes like But I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss another upload on my channel. Never give up in your dreams. Never stop grabbing your engine. And until next time, have a great one, y'all. Peace out, everyone.